Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2022, on this month of October 27th, Thursday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last a full morning, our Lord protected us. Let us lift our hand and tell Him, Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last night for the good sleep, He gave us, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father, with good health, happiness. This morning for waking us up for the God's grace and mercy. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This morning, Father, for wonderfully leading us for the faithfulness of our Lord. We are telling you thank you. This morning, Father, for victoriously leading us for your mercy and grace. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Above Father, your wisdom, your knowledge. Hallelujah. Your grace and favor. Everything this morning through us for coming out. We thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. We thank you. For, you, for great is your love towards us. Great is your mercy towards us. For your mercy, we thank you. In Psalms is saying in Psalms 43, verse number 4 and 5. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And on the harp, I will praise you, O God, my God. The psalmist is saying, Hallelujah, my exceeding joy. To God. Verse number 5, Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise Him, the help of my countenance and my God. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful, blessed, beautiful morning, thank you. Last full morning for protecting us, thank you. You gave us good sleep last night, thank you. You made us to wake up in good health, thank you, Daddy. This morning for wonderfully leading us, for your grace and mercy, thank you. This morning, Father, all who are hearing this our voice today, we bless and pray for them. Everyone, Lord, as a family, for blessing them, thank you. In every need of your children, this morning, let your hand be with them. Let your presence be with them. You who was with Moses, the presence of yours today with us, inside of us above Father, all who are hearing this voice today on this year of 2022, October 27th Lord Jesus, let today be a day of victory. Let this day be a day where the prayer is answered. Let today be a day of miracle, supernatural deliverance of Father. Lord Father your hand for performing through your children to see it Make it possible, Lord. Let it be a day of great testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every mountain be broken into plains. Let the Red Sea be divided in their life. In the name of Jesus, we say thank you unto thee. Every problem in the life of your children, for running away from them, we thank you. We ruckle for your children this morning, what they have desired, what they have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the miracle that has happened, we tell you thank you. Let the sick be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, every bondage of sickness be broken. Every tied up things of the enemy be destroyed. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, those who are suffering from fits, epilepsy, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Every attack of the enemy, every bondage of the enemy, be gone, broken, destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, let the body be renewed. Every organ that is not functioning, start functioning. Hear, ear that can't hear, start hearing. Mouth that can't speak, start speaking. Eyes that can't see, start seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this morning be a morning of great miracle and deliverance. Hallelujah. In business, let there be a prosperity. In the workplace, let there be an upliftment. At homes, let there be a great revival. Hallelujah. Father, for all your works, we tell you thank you. Let your name be glorified, Daddy. Thank you, Father, for your mercy and grace. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let your name be glorified through us. We give our church meeting tomorrow into thy hands. Let it be greatly glorious and wonderful. Let it be a deliverance, Lord, for many people. Lord Jesus, pour your anointing upon our children, we pray, in multitude, O oh Father. Thank you, Father God, for the next five days of greater meetings. Let great things be done amongst your people. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, 
we make this prayer amen 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 let the lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning let the grace the peace and the joy of the lord be in your life in abundance and increase it more and more as we move forward in these coming days and let the lord bless you and use each one of you abundantly in these days dear children of god announcement from saturday till wednesday we are going to contact a special meeting open hands heavens and realms of glory so let us prepare our worship to receive the word and his presence hallelujah today further we are going to meditate from the book of isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 isaiah 40 31 but those who wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall faint and they shall they shall walk and not faint hallelujah verse number 28 onwards let us read have you not known have you not heard the everlasting god let us lift our hand and say my god is an everlasting god my god is an everlasting god the creator of the ends of the earth let us lift our hand and say my god is the creator of the ends of the earth then it says neither faints lift your hand and say my god does not faint nor is a very his understanding is unsearchable and then it says this god who does not become tired this god who does not become very this god whose understanding is unsearchable next word says he gives power to the weak so to those who are tired he gives some power to those who are weak he increases their strength hallelujah when the lord sees someone who is tired he increases their strength he saw elijah who was tired he he removed the tiredness from his life people who were tired three days people were hearing the message from jesus they were tired and they did not have food and god provided jesus provide them with food those who are weak for 38 years the one who had was still sitting in the pool of bethesda healed him hallelujah the paralytic who was carried by his four friends god healed them because he was tired he was weak he could not walk and then it says even the youths shall faint and vary even the young man shall utterly fall and then it says but those who wait on the lord whoever becomes weak tired vary but who waits on the lord their strength shall be renewed their strength will be renewed and for the next 5 days our prayer is the days that we are sitting in the presence of god waiting upon him we should find time and spend time with our lord and that is why we conduct such special meetings so we should find time in the midst of our busy schedule as we are running in this world many things of the world we are running behind so we should find time and set aside with the lord and to renew our strength is why we are conducting the special meetings a vehicle that is to run for a very long time we take it for servicing and then after the servicing of the car the car becomes good and to use and new in that same manner when we are busy with our family life spiritual life worldly life many kind of worldly things we are going and running to in this world some time few days some hours to sit along with the lord is why we are conducting such special meetings and as we sit with the lord great exchange not from us to the lord but from the lord to us great exchanges will happen for example as a family we go for a picnic or we go for a tour from the work, schedule of the work from busy schedules we take a holiday we take a vacation for five days as a family we go away somewhere for what to be renewed to get a freshness and to become more closer with family with our children to know one another more we set aside a time and in that same manner when we are conducted when we are ordained or when we are busy with many things of this world when we are running in this life take a break and to sit along with the lord is why we are conducting the special meetings so this five days meeting children of god let us sit with the lord that is never a loss for you in the word of god says A day in the Lord is better than thousand days elsewhere. Hallelujah. So five days as we sit with the Lord, it's better than five thousand days we run in this world. 
running this world, making money, many kind of busy schedules we have in this life. In the midst of that, we should find time. How much of a vehicle is running? How much of a busy you are? You will find time and take it to the worship, into the workshop for the oil change. The oil might, the vehicle's oil might be finished. So you have to service it. But if you say, no, I'm very busy, I cannot service, of course the car will break down. Yes, we have a lot of problems in the office and workplace, different, different times. We are busy. But when you set aside a time for yourself with the Lord, is went through the men of God, that God will use you. But even if you still say you are busy, busy, and you are running, it will affect your life forward. So when you set aside your time, the Holy Spirit has given you these days as a church to set aside, to be along with Him, to receive from Him and to renew yourself from Him. For example, what is it being said over there? They shall mount up like wings like eagles. We know eagles, they have got two faces on their life. First, there is a season. In that season, the eagle will fly and do everything and then its, its feathers will start falling. It goes high above and sits on a rock and bees like a, just a bundle of flesh over there. When its all feathers have fallen and then slowly its feathers will start growing up. And then the second phase of the eagle's life is where its strength becomes renewed, where it, it starts more flying more strongly. It starts journeying even further and it starts catching its prey with more eagerness. Hallelujah! More than how much higher in the first phase it flew, it will start flying in the second phase. So in these days, we are moving forward into a new season. The eagle in its first season lifespan, it took an interval and then as it moves forward to another season to fly high above, the Lord has given us this opportunity. So do not miss it. These two months of this year end before it, children of God, this waiting on the Lord will not be a waste. It will never go astray. Surely whoever has sat before the Lord, they have always received from the Lord. So when you get time, if you can take leave, Take leave, find time and sit with the Lord, receive from Him and let us come forward as supernatural people and move forward. Hallelujah. And in the authority of the Lord, start working things as per the kingdom of God and be mighty weapons for the kingdom of God and let the Lord help us and use each one of us for it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will grow, we will increase, we will multiply and we will be highly favored. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.